beautiful for spacious skies for amber waves of rain purple mountains majesty above thy fruit taking a train trip across this great country. It wasn't a song that she penned, though. It was a poem with many stanzas, many verses. And this is a verse that stood out to me that uh, was not just a proclamation, but a prayer. so long ago and Samuel Ward was the gentleman who penned the melody to that song and Catherine and Samuel never met in person but in 1910 17 years after she penned the lyrics to America the Beautiful the melody and the lyrics met and America the Beautiful became the song that we now know it to be with the melody and the lyrics now this song took on a, a reemergence uh, 20 years ago, although it was very popular. At 8.46 on Tuesday, September the 11th, 2001, the face of America changed. And all of our hearts were broken, confused, as we gathered around with our family and our loved ones, and the day just stopped. You know where you were? 20 years ago on September 11th, I know exactly where I was as our eyes beheld what we couldn't imagine when, what we were seeing. And it was during that time I just began to reach out to the Lord and seek the Lord. And the Lord sent a song, and I want to share that song with you. 20 years ago, the Lord sent this song called The Righteous Are Safe. And it was during a time of worship, just trying to make sense of what was going on. And the Lord just gave me this song in that time of worship. And I heard him singing, be bold and be strong when the lion comes. Be bold and be strong, trusting in the sun. Be bold and be strong when the storm blows through and through. There is a rest. Just for you, he is a rock, a strong and mighty tower, the righteous run and are safe, he is a rock. 
Chapter 18, verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run and are safe. You know what happened to us during that time when we reflect back on 20 years ago, and this song reminds me of what the Lord was doing in my life. This was beginning to emerge from all of us. More than self, our country, we loved. And we were loving one another. We were caring for one another. We were brought together by this devastation, and we, we were drawn together in unity, and there was a patriotism, there was an honor, we were all waving American flags. It didn't matter about Democrats, Republicans, it didn't matter what your political affiliation, liberal, conservative, if what gender, race, it didn't matter. What mattered was we were all Americans sharing, and the whole world was participating in, in this time, and there was love, not of self, but of country, which means one another. It was a beautiful time. The greatest commandment, Jesus said when they approached him, is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, your mind, your soul, and your strength. And the second is, just like that, to love your neighbor as yourself. As we reflect back on 20 years ago, and you remember exactly where you are, there's some things we want to forget, the pain, the confusion, the hurt. But there's things that we want to recall to mind, and it was this that we did not love self during that time. We loved country over self, just like the song says in America the Beautiful. May God thy gold refine to all success be nobleness and all your gains divine. If you want to know about these songs that are written through my life, we're going to be sharing them every week. And so just push the subscribe button and you'll be notified and you'll know about the songs as we present them each week. We are here to bless you in Jesus' name and remind you always that no matter what you're facing, Jesus is the key. I'm Psalmist Chad, and I look forward to seeing you next time when we present more than a song, the song of the Lord.